Microelectronics are at the heart of everything that we do today. The demands of the defense industry and government employers have been increasing very rapidly in the last few decades. And especially in the last few years, we've gone from about 10,000 unfilled positions to arguably uh, close to 30,000. SCALE is a microelectronics workforce development project, and it was founded in 2020 to create a public-private academic partnership in order to provide relevant information uh, to inform the activities of SCALE. Second objective is to provide a more knowledgeable and well-prepared workforce. Our goal is to increase recruiting and to have a very highly qualified and diverse cohort of students who are interested in microelectronics as a career option. And Knowledge Share includes internship opportunities, includes research, and includes uh, dissemination through online platforms like NanoHome. SCALE is a public-private academic partnership that consists of over 20 universities in the U.S. and over 40 employers in the defense industrial sector. We provide students with opportunities to learn hands-on training with the technologies that they're going to be working with and using when they enter into those fields related to microelectronics. And what's unique about this is that a lot of these topics are so new that there aren't even necessarily textbooks with them yet or there aren't opportunities within their curriculum to learn about these. And so we're really saving them years of post degree to learn these skills um, by equipping them for them now. Usually researchers are funded to hire graduate research assistants, that's who works with them. But SCALE is actually really focused heavily on undergraduate training. And so we are providing students with opportunities to interact and get into these labs and receive mentoring in topics that otherwise would not be available to them. When I first was an undergrad, I wanted to do nuclear propulsion. So I was an aerospace major with a nuclear minor, and I figured I could combine the two and go into nuclear propulsion. But when I joined the SCALE program during my junior year, my project was more focused on space radiation environments, and then it kind of, as the years went on, turned into radiation hardening of microelectronics. Um, that research combined with my nuclear minor courses um, really sparked my interest in nuclear engineering and influenced my decision to pursue a master's degree in that. Scale greatly impacted my decision and influenced my choices when going into graduate school by both just giving me more experience with research and also showing me all the different applications that can come together for one project. The day I got admitted to SCALE, I received an email from one of SCALE's employees telling me that a company called NSWC Crane would be at Purdue that day, and that I should go talk to them. It's basically a Navy based in Southern Indiana. And I had a lovely interview with Crane, and I eventually got the position. So last summer, I was an intern at NSWC Crane, where I worked with radiation hardened technology, specifically uh, testing and evaluating how microelectronics perform under radiation conditions. It's very exciting to know that the things I'm working on could have a huge impact on the microelectronics industry and things of that nature. Uh, my experience at NSWC Crane last summer and what I'm learning in my classes right now, it kind of gives, gives me motivation to get through the hard parts of those classes because I know I'll be able to apply it to something that I enjoy later. Scale has opened a lot of doors for me to uh, a lot of different opportunities such as research conferences and internships that I wouldn't have had otherwise because when you typically tell people that you're a part of Scale that has a name behind it and a weight behind it that actually can open doors. Uh, it happened to me at career fairs. Employers typically hear that you're a part of Scale and they're very excited to know that you have already kind of had experience working in the relationship between students, the government, and uh, you know contractors, right? Because that's a complex relationship and scale kind of ties those three together. So for instance, an employer that I met at a career fair said, excellent, you're a part of scale, you've worked on the same research as us, and it sounds like you're the only candidate that we're currently looking at that has any type of research or skills like this. So we'll definitely look at you. And they offered me an opportunity only a couple months later. To date, we've had over 750 students engaged in the SCALE program, 
And of our graduates, over 60% are entering into the defense sector, which is actually a really huge number. Uh, that's something we're really proud of. Our recent research has shown that we are significantly increasing the number of supports that our women and students from underserved areas in engineering have from the time they enter into two years into the program. So students are now able to receive not just one mentor, but really a community of mentors and being part of that community of practice. Students within SCALE are really building their networks to support them for a career in engineering.